Hi, this is PC Roger. On this short video, I just want to show you how to prevent Google Chrome from storing browser history. Uh, yes, you can open up Chrome and hit the key combination Control Shift N and bring up incognito mode. But what if you forget to do that, which is typical? What if you just don't want an extra keystroke to have to do, which is pretty much a two-handed keystroke, by the way? Instead, how about we just take a look at history here. And first step, let's clear browsing history. It says nothing found, but, and here you can see, it will remind you, control shift end, then be a cognito mode, fine. But make sure that we're gonna obliterate everything from the beginning of time. There's a drop down here. Make sure it's beginning of time and clear it. And let's close out Chrome. Now, if you open up Windows Explorer in the users directory of our local C drive, or whatever drive yours might be, probably C, users, then my account name is Surf. And you're going to see this, hopefully, uh, after selecting Tools, Folder Options, and View, and making sure that you have Show Hidden Files and Folders selected and Don't Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Because we want to be able to see that under, under in this case, it's Surf, whatever your username is, App Data, Local, Google, Chrome, User Data, Default, there's a file called history with no extension. What we're going to do is right click this and select properties. Select read only and just hit OK. Now if it's read only, Chrome will not be able to access the file in order to put things into it. So let's test that. Bring up Chrome again. Let's go to pcroger.com. Let's open up a window. FreeComputerConsultant.com, a window, and here we have a little bit of history. Close that out. Let's open Chrome again. Select history. No history entries found. So there you have it. Yes, you can use incognito mode, but if you just never want Chrome to store any history, here's how you can do it. And remember, this is the subdirectory you're looking for. This is the file you're looking for. Make sure you have folder options set in case you don't find it. Let's check these folder options. History, properties, confirm that it's read only. Well, that's it for this short video. If you like the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel. Got a link to my website, pcroger.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.